Jay, thank you. An ATM is ripped out and stolen. It was all caught on Toledo Urban Federal Credit Union's cameras. Now some board members are sharing strong words and speaking out. 13 Action News reporter Claire Mitchell has the details. All new at 5. Those with Toledo Urban Federal Credit Union say that their ATMs have been targeted three times in the last year. In front of me, you're looking at the aftermath of the latest incident at the Monroe Street location. It's around 4.30 Monday morning and a maroon truck comes rolling up to an ATM drive through However, this driver isn't alone. Security cameras at Toledo Urban Federal Credit Union on Monroe Street show a skid steer arrive moments later. Then chaos ensues. The video shows the skid steer trying multiple times to pick up that far left ATM, breaking off pieces in the process. After several attempts, it knocks the machine over, and in the final act, the maroon truck swoops in, smashes it through, and steals it. In this incident, we find that the skid steer that was used uh, to take this ATM was stolen from a construction site near Smead. That vehicle was also stolen uh, around October 26th um, in the 700 block of Secor. Officer Prince Flores with the Toledo Police Department says the skid steer has since been recovered. This is all that remains. We're seeing a set of wires here just left hanging out. And in the front here, tons of broken up pieces from the machine that were hit by that forklift. I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Suzette Cowell, the CEO and treasurer of Toledo Urban Federal Credit Union, says there have been similar incidents recently at other locations. Ever since we purchased this building, we have been uh, uh, hit four, three times. Something's going on. It's not right. Now she and her fellow board members have a lot of questions. When this, uh, when this machine got hit, why wasn't it flooded with police and, and uh, law enforcement officers? We take on a second location to help the community. Why now? Cowell and her colleagues say they have all the necessary security measures in place and are now asking for the public's help. If they see something, <laughs> say something. In the meantime, Officer Flores says the incident is under investigation, but they don't have anyone in custody. But this particular scene has the department on high alert. To go to the extent of what this situation is, uh, it does raise alarms. It does make us want to pay attention to it. Reporting in Toledo. I'm Claire Mitchell, 13 Action News. And more